So briefly to describe the enigma, there's a picture of it there. And what happens is that when you uh, press a, uh, here we are, yes, uh, you press a key, um, an electrical current goes um, through a plug board, then through three rotors, then is reflected by a reflector and comes back and lights up one of these lamps so that you have an encoding of the letter that you have typed in. And here is an illustration of it. Here are the three rotors, one, two, three. And the wiring of them is known, was known to the cryptanalysts because of um, espionage by the French and the uh, Polish. Uh, um, but you see here, I'm typing A, N, it goes round, reflected, and comes back, it's G. Now what happens is that after you type A, N, the first rotor rotates. So that if I were to type A, N again, there would be a different set of contacts now. Um, it wouldn't be G that would come out, but some different letter C. Then the first rotor would rotate again, and after the first rotor has rotated 26 times, the second rotor rotates once, and after this one has been made to go around after the appropriate number of key presses, the third one goes round. So it's what's called a polyalphabetic cipher. But that isn't all the complications because there's this thing called the plug board here, which is where we have a swapping of pairs of letters going into the machine and coming out of the machine. 